yourself. Prepare yourself, because my next guest is a Tony and Grammy Award winner, a fashion icon, and the star of FX's Pose. Please welcome to The Late Show, Mr. Billy Porter. I'm on the late show. You are. Thank you, thank you for dressing appropriately. Okay? Well, listen. Thank you for putting some effort into listen, it. Listen, she's a fashion icon now. Yes. There's an expectation. Yes. So I have to show yes. up appropriately. I, uh, I, uh, I am so glad you actually wore something that is as dynamic as that because I'm a fan of your red carpet work. This <laughs> is it's work. oh it's but well, this is work you're working that, it it is work you're not working it here I am okay. working it this is the Oscars <laughs> this year look at that extraordinary <laughs> yeah that is this is this is this is a this year's Met Gala which always yes. has notes on camp. It, it's notes on camp Susan this year. Susan Sontag notes on camp. It's all they're always uh, there's always they're always a little uh, extravagant. It's always appropriate though. My but choices this are appropriate. This is entirely appropriate. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Take you straight to the Temple of Dender. I mean, right there. And you then, know the gods, the and gods. Then here you are in full bloom, <laughs> full bloom, right there. Ten foot. And then I think, I think this has to be, this actually has to be my favorite. Tell me about this album before I show it to the people. Okay, so it was for the Tonys a couple of nights ago, and it was upcycled. It is upcycled material, not recycled. Upcycled couture. So we used the um, the curtain from Kinky Boots to make yes. this couture garment. Do you think? Do you feel that? Do you feel that a fashion makes a political statement? I think it can. You know, I've always been into fashion, and I feel like, especially when it comes to gender, mm -hmm. you know, we've moved beyond the idea that women wearing pants is a problem. Mm -hmm. You know, women wearing thank pants. Thank you, Catherine Hepburn. Thank you, Catherine Hepburn. The the the, the women wearing pants is powerful. It's mm -hmm. strong. Everybody accepts it, and it's associated with the patriarch. Mm -hmm. The patriarchy. It's associated yeah. with being male. Yes. The minute a man puts on a dress, it's disgusting. So what are you saying? <laughs> Men are strong. Women are disgusting. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm done with that. I'm a man in a dress, and if I feel like wearing a dress, I'm going to wear one. And you know, when... people forget that Jesus wore a dress, too. They call him robes, but he wore a dress. Yes. They were dressing. Simple cinch shows yes. off the figure. Listen, you got to cinch it in, mm -hmm. show your waistline. Also, wasn't <laughs> afraid to show his abs. We know that. <laughs> now, you, you star in the FX series Pose. Yes. Okay. It's centered on the underground of, of ball culture ballroom of the culture, 1980s, yes. Yes. which you were part of. Well, I was ballroom adjacent. Let me just say that for real. What you, you know, mean? I moved to New York City. I was doing Broadway shows, but I'm a gay black man, and so I did attend the balls. Oh, but you did not. But I was not in didn't the balls. You walk in the balls. I didn't or walk did... in the balls. But the culture is something that's really interesting because, you know, it's a culture of chosen family. Mm -hmm. I think that's what's so great about the show. Mm -hmm. You know, the show presents what chosen family looks like. Mm -hmm. And sometimes our biological families are not equipped to love us mm -hmm. unconditionally in the ways that are necessary for us to thrive when we're LGBTQ people. Mm -hmm. You know, and so the ballroom culture is um, a culture that came, that emerged out of, you know, these people being thrown out of their houses just because of who they are, you know? But we found our tribe. We found our family. And we, you know, the, the culture is about making sure that we uplift each other. And it's amazing. It's amazing. 
Well, um, I, I have never, I was not part of the Vogue culture. You I missed weren't. That. I missed that. You missed it. I missed it in the 1990s. <laughs> so I'm sorry, but I admire your style. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Thank and you so much. And I think so that much. the spirit with which you express yourself is really beautiful. Thank you so much. And I'm hoping you could help me be more beautiful. And well, I brought way. some, I brought some yes. things. Well, you know, I saw. This is not ours. This is you brought this. This is me. Because uh, here's the thing is that while I admire the, the, the beautiful way that you, you, you are dressed, I also am kind of used to like a man, like I put on a suit and I'm right. done. Right, uh, absolutely. And what I can totally I do understand to that. Kick it up a little bit. You know, there are accessories that can sort of pump it up a notch, if you will. I'm ready. So I know that you wear glasses. We probably don't have the same, we probably don't have the same prescription. Howsomever, I think. You know, just to give it a little zhuzh. You know. I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm not mad about that. Now. I like this. I feel like I'm a, I feel like I'm a, a stunt man on, on, on Rocket Man. Exactly. Exactly. It's a throwback to the, to the Elton John days. I love it. Now, I'm also a hat man. Um, I have a wonderful hat that I bought back in 2000 when I had no money, and I knew I would need it. I spent $500 on it. A Philip Tracy hat. You know, now you gotta, you can't put it on straight. You gotta cock that to the, you gotta cock that to the side. Just like that. <laughs> the, the, the hat and the glasses are fighting my face. I know. You look in the mirror, you take one thing off. Mm -hmm. So I, take the glasses off. You can take the glasses off. No, I gotta keep the glasses on. You have to on. keep the glasses on. So yeah, because you can they, see. They, they ruin my eyesight so much that I actually look prettier without, <laughs> without being able to see. You look good in that. Right. Yeah, come on. You, can, you have right. to change the bottom. Mm -hmm. You wanna walk a little bit? Mm -hmm. That's right. We need a beat. You gonna walk with me? You gonna walk with me? You gonna walk with me? All right, here's the runway.